Um, so, um, yes, we are Muslims are practicing feasting part of Ramadan at this time. Probably they are already start eating. And what we are going to do, we are going to watch another video by um, Wandering Queen and then see what is she continue to give advice um, to Muslims uh, for them to live during the Ramadan. Um, I must express when I say this is not personal, actually I do not mean that, but it is not personal. Um, it's not only because actually gave us all together over 10 weeks strike in the past, which we couldn't do live stream, but it's not personal. <laughs> it is all about the ideology now and we will be dealing with certain um, statements she is making. And um, I don't want to be mean, but I think this message is very dangerous. Since we are talking about cooking, I had to make a one course meal yesterday for four. And have they eaten it? How long did it take to make that? And the people who you made, are they still alive? That's the, that's the basic questions will be asked. So if they are not alive, please do not write that in the please do not write that in the chat just say rest in peace that will make sense i'm glad other people are sharing my um struggle food struggles uh yes let us know how that went that we your one course meal um so muslims supposed to be keeping away from food from sun set from sunrise to sunset and uh, with the proper uh, structures. But, um, and in somehow what we are going to see is um, Muslim scholars are going to not kind of explain that. Now it's like someone who decided to convert to Islam without any reason is going to explain the practical side of fasting and then going to give us some tip. Um, Yes, the wandering queen, also known as the take it easy mufti of Islam. <laughs> yeah, Allah this is, is merciful, the, take it easy. This is the name I've given her, take it easy mufti. Oh, bless <laughs> you. MF, well done for keeping people alive from um, from your cooking. Uh, it's not about being a horrible chef or not, it's about like, was your intention to kill people? Sadly, that wasn't your intention, but... Maybe next time, next time, ask me recipe. Um, I'll give you well, well detailed recipes. What is the best way to make sure a beloved one gets to the bosom of the father? Um, okay, daughter of Christ, do you want to kind of just quickly summarize the video for us? And then while you do that, I will put it up and then we take it from there. Yeah, um, I'm going to be as honest as possible, sister. Uh, I watched no, the whole no, video. No, 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 remember, I told you, she's just like, take it easy, y'all. Just be gentle to her, okay? Just, if you are going to destroy her, do it slowly, slowly, okay. slowly, so she will feel the pain, okay. and then she move on very quickly, and she doesn't give a strike. I feel like if we say it honestly and she feels pain, she might punish you for that sister with some fake copyright strikes. I don't know. Oh, well, I am already, I am already um, given eternal life, so it's absolutely fine. <laughs> uh, basically, an 18-minute video, which we have had to shorten. Uh, basically, a merching video. That means uh, a lot of Ramadan products um, that she is advertising. Throughout her day, she's showing how she's using all these products, uh, like it's like a lifestyle blog of Ramadan, to do with health, fitness, food, uh, etc. Nothing to do with the actual um, Ramadan, except for a small part where she changes all her aims that she put for Ramadan because she realizes this. She finds it too difficult, too stressful, so she just changes it halfway through. So she tells us the reasons why. And um, again, it's the take it easy um, 
take it easy life sister which is um, very calming to <laughs> watch so boring it's plenty to sleep but anyway that's the summary yeah, what do you and, think is- and she speaks very slow so but anyway it's always good to share the pain together so can we play double speed system on one and a half why 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 while i was suffering why don't you want people to suffer as well sister and it's just a <laughs> suggestion but anyway it's shorter we've shortened it so just bear with us we'll stop and comment okay. uh, um let's go for it Hello, Salaam Alaikum, and most importantly, Ramadan Mubarak. I have already kind of rethought some of my intentions and goals that I set because I definitely have had the last few days like a feeling of like a little bit overwhelming of like, oh my gosh, I said I was going to do all of this stuff and I haven't got time for it. I do need to do a little bit of work for my Instagram channel. So it is Friday and I've just put on the Friday sermon. الحمد لله الذي سلم ميزان العقل إلى أكف ذوي الألباب. So this is my little prayer corner in my room, and um, yes, I just did the listen to the kutbah. I did have my eyes closed whilst I was listening to it to have a little rest, um, but it was really nice to listen to that. And I just wanted to mention I got my pages back out and there is a pdf here with kind of all of the words um, in English and then in Arabic but English. Um, alphabet um, so I just figured during Ramadan I would go over these just to make sure I haven't got into too many bad habits of saying anything wrong. I also shared in my intentions video that I wanted to learn some more surahs um, to say during the prayer when you get to choose which surah you say um, and I actually had no idea how this worked so luckily I asked a Muslim friend of mine like which ones am I supposed to be doing and they did confirm that it's generally the last three surahs in the Quran. Um, if you're born Muslim, you probably know this, but I'm um, just saying this to any new Muslims out there. Um, Al-Ikhlas. Al-Ikhlas. Um, that's what I've been saying anyway. And then I realised there is Anas and another one which I haven't written down yet. So my aim now is to um, kind of learn Al-Nas. Um, I don't know how I'm going to learn it. I think through listening to some YouTube videos to see actually how you pronounce the words in Arabic. It's all a new experience. I just wanted to share that with you. Probably doing things wrong, but um, Allah is merciful. And when we are doing them wrong and we don't realise, then um, yeah, we have Allah's mercy on that. Um, and <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is we will play this little bit same again in, in, a, um, in a while, but... Um, can I just bring everyone's attention? So she's been Muslim more than a year. She's already making videos to give advice to the Muslims. But Allah is merciful. She fell asleep during the Friday khutbah. She's sitting on the prayer mat without like a headscarf. She just like finished prayer and then she's got like PDF version of PDF version of her notes that she doesn't miss the miss the prayer when she's goes to the stage that she simply just picks up her paper and then reads the prayer and then moves on and she decided she's gonna check it <laughs> she's gonna check it to see if she's not making any mistakes since she's been praying the same verses for like a year of course i'm sure you all noticed as she was in the um in the prayer uh she was wearing this lovely beautiful headscarf because that's how you pray like basic logic and then of course she also mentioned that she decided she decided she's gonna change the um her goals for the ramadan why they are so hard now and it's only like day four or five by the way and we will be hearing in the future she hasn't even fasted all days but anyway um daughter of christ uh, she said she had to change her goals because she has no time. But then she says, I need to do some work for my Instagram channel. <laughs> she got her priorities straight on. I mean, wow. Uh, Ramadan, you're meant to be focused on your Instagram cha- um, channel. Uh, sister, this khutbah that she had on, I'm not surprised she fell asleep because it was in Arabic, sister. <laughs> Come on, don't you think she kind of put it in the background of the bathroom and I um, was listening? 
sister, what is the point? It's like me putting on a sermon to listen to in Greek, and I don't know Greek. <laughs> uh, what is the point of that? Uh, so you see the take it easy lifestyle. If you, you listen, you want to take a nap, you can. <laughs> sister, sister, can you take a nap while it, in the it, church it, sitting and then listening to sermon? <laughs> no. Can you take but, a nap while you are doing church through Zoom? No. <laughs> I don't think even Muslims in the mosque. Imagine if the imam is standing there doing his khutbah uh, and they fall asleep. They say, I'm just closing my eyes, having a little rest. Uh, Mufti, take it easy. Quinn said that we can. <laughs> like, uh, oh, I, uh, so priority for the Ramadan is supposed to be coming close to Allah, reading the word of Allah, all that junk. Muslims, Muslims should be saying that, but her priority is sadly... Instagram or other things you will see like her priorities she will mention more and more priorities and then she's not able to reach her goals therefore what she does is let me change my goals and this is like just like day four for the Ramadan like in her <laughs> in her like video this is day four even... it's not like day 29 yeah she didn't give the original plan enough time uh, sister uh <laughs> I don't know how much we ought to explain to people who don't know about the Muslim prayer. Yeah, I think, she, yeah, we, we talked about that. I think that's good. Uh, you need to memorize things in Arabic because in prayer, you can't say your own words, even in Arabic. Everything you say has to be scripted and it comes from a surah. It means it comes from a chapter uh, and it, it, it doesn't have to have to do to do with anything with your thoughts or feelings or anything. It's basically like having a robot. Allah gives you what to say, and it has to be in Arabic. And you can't say any other words. Like, it has to be the surahs, the chapters. So, um, sister, she asked... Of course, Muslims sorry. What, of course, this sorry. is this is when they do their five daily prayer in the structure form. Yeah, so the prayer has to be uh, at the right time. You can't be early and you can't be late. If you're early or late to the time, it's not you accepted. You missed Allah. You missed Allah. Yeah, you're sinful if you miss the time. And it is too early, Allah it doesn't count. Allah doesn't hear it. So she asked the Muslim friends, what surahs shall I say? Because they remember there are 114 surahs. And by the way, you can choose any surah. Uh, in Tarawih prayer, in uh, the extra prayers in Ramadan, they actually go through the whole 114 surahs. So anyway, the Muslims told her, the three, um, I would have expected after one year, if you're doing five times a day, the same surah. You remember she, was, <laughs> she couldn't even say the name, the surah al-ikhlas. She said it was like, couldn't hardly pronounce it. It's five times a day that you say it. And, and she's, by the, so, she's talking about surah 111, sorry, 112, yeah. 113, and 114. Surah 112, which is the simply, oh, Allah, Allah doesn't have... Um, Allah is not begotten. Allah is, uh, Allah is neither born or neither, neither begotten. There is none like Him. So that's the one like they recite in every prayer, minimum, minimum of five times. Okay, and if you are so lazy, sometimes you can even like do it a couple of times. And she doesn't even know like it's only like four verses, and just I. Yeah. Ch children know it. it was the first surah that my mom taught me sister and I was four years old yeah that's like first you teach your children because especially in this country you know your children are going to meet with Christians so what are you going to tell Allah doesn't have a son um, so it's yeah. like very 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 famous like it's like John 3 16 okay yeah it's the first thing you actually learn in Islam is uh, Allah is one who has no son, yeah. Antichrist, even before you even learn Muhammad or anything. So that's what she's struggling with, um, by the way, guys, the Antichrist Surah of Islam. Um, yeah, and then did you notice, like, uh, she's on, she doesn't have a um, headscarf on, and she's just telling us, like, okay, this is how I did my prayers. And then she's, like, showing her PDF, PDF papers where, like, she simply... Like he's the Arabic. He's the. She, just. She's worried that she'd pronounce the Arabic wrong. 
she should be worried because you have to get the pronunciation right. Otherwise, it's not a Quran that you're Come saying. On, sister, you're Allah just saying is merciful. Other... Take it easy. Allah is merciful. She says Allah at the end, I don't know if I'm merciful. wrong or not, but Allah is merciful. Uh, we have that. Uh, can what? I don't know how. Why is she so confident? Uh, Allah is also called the vengeful, the avenger, the wrathful. Uh, prideful, how does she know? Deceiver. Prideful. With all this, take it easy. And Allah, I don't think. How does she know that she's not on Allah's bad side? You can't just pick one of Allah's ninety-nine names and and say it's that's he's gonna do that because he's changeable. Like he's got a womb. He changes his moods. He couldn't be merciful one day and the destroyer the next day. It's one of his 99 names. So I don't know how she's so confident, sister. Yeah, and also this might be the helpful moment to rem remind that um, helpful helpful time to remind that the right recitation is going to intercede for, for them. So if you can't even pronounce the proper word and hope that, oh, Allah is going to merciful, Nope. Remember, yesterday we talked about how Allah proclaimed, Allah claimed the fast to Himself, and the prayers are the ones again. But as you are reciting Quran, it's going to Quran is going to appear and intercede for you on the day of judgment. And if you are, if you can't even in a year couldn't memorize four verses, and you are, oh, I checked this. Oh, I by the way, I just asked my Muslim friend who guided me after a year. I think people who converted her just told her, no worries, Allah is all merciful. Take it easy, Allah is all merciful. <laughs> because they did their part. They already got someone to convert. They got the reward from Allah. It's between her and Allah now what happens to her. Uh, and by the way, Muslims choose these short surahs because it's faster. If you yeah. choose a long surah to pray, it takes ages. And remember, it's five prayers a day. And it's not like they want to please... It's just that they want to do a tick box. They want to be as efficient as possible, quick as possible, because they have other stuff to do. So that's why that's yeah, why they like have a nap. Shows. Have a nap. Do your hair. Do a workout. Yeah, yeah. Put the Quran in the background of the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. So um, what I'm gonna do, is, sister, I'm just gonna move it a little bit back, and then we will pick up um, where she's sitting. where she's sitting and then she's just t telling people about her prayer. I hope this is not the way like she was sitting on her prayer thing because she's on the right direction. <laughs> but anyway, I think she got the um, Mecca wrong in, um, in this one, but let's see, let's see. So I'm gonna, sorry, I'm just gonna um, play that prayer part again and then, um, and then we take it from there. I just did the listen to the kutbah. I did have my eyes closed whilst I was listening to it to have a little rest, um, but it was really nice to listen to that. I just wanted to mention I got my pages back out and there is a PDF here with kind of all of the words um, in English and then in Arabic but English um, alphabet. Um, so I just figured during Ramadan I would go over these just to make sure I haven't got into too many bad habits of saying anything wrong. I also shared in my intentions video that I wanted to learn some more surahs um, to say during the prayer when you get to choose which surah you say. Um, and I actually had no idea how this worked so luckily I asked a Muslim friend of mine like which ones am I supposed to be doing and they did confirm that it's generally the last three surahs in the Quran. Um, if you're born Muslim you probably know this but I'm just saying this to any new Muslims out there. Um, Al-Ikhlas. Al-Ikhlas. Um, that's what I've been saying anyway. And then I realised there is Anas and another one which I haven't written down yet. So my aim now is to um, kind of learn Al-Nas. Um, I don't know how I'm going to learn it. I think through listening to some YouTube videos to see actually how you pronounce the words in Arabic. It's all a new experience. I just wanted to share that with you. Probably doing things wrong, but um, Allah is merciful. And when we are doing them wrong and we don't realise, then um, yeah, we have Allah's mercy on that. Um, and now I'm out on my... Sister, anything do you want to add in her prayer structure? Like, I'm sure you notice, like, her beautiful dress as she sets for the prayer. 
I'm sure you already noticed like her hijab as she said for the prayer. Anything you want to make a comment or you notice her nails? Uh, I think she has nail varnish. I think I'm not. Um, tell me if I've Pro probably after a year, no one told her like, okay, here's the basic things. Okay. There are lots of groups in the mosques meets that are, they've got like woman circles. Mm. Seems to me that she didn't even bother to attend those woman circles um, in any form or any shape. And then she's just like, oh, I asked this my Muslim friend and then I figured out now. And so therefore I'm guessing like no one told her, okay, when you pray, just like make sure no makeup, no all other things on. Uh, I'm surprised she wants to get things right. After but a year. Allah is merciful. She's, she's only 29, a... sister. Sister, but she she wants to get things right. But she's sitting on a prayer mat, facing a camera with a face full of makeup and no hijab in front of men who will be watching her. Uh, in that state, like complete disrespect. Um, for people who don't know, we, Muslim women must wear the hijab when they're praying facing Allah. They must, and um, they can't be all makeup. Nail varnish nullifies wudu, which is a must. You must have the wudu, which is the obligatory washing. If you have nail varnish on, the water doesn't reach the nails. Yes, Allah is that petty. He cares. If Come any on, of these Allah things is, are not... Allah is merciful. He, in, Allah has rules. I don't know where she gets that Allah is so merciful. He doesn't care about his own rules. There are things that are compulsory that you must do. If you miss, you are sinful and Allah doesn't accept the other bit. It's not like Allah accepts one part and not the other. If one thing is out of place, he doesn't accept the whole thing. And we know that uh, there are hadiths where Allah throws your good deeds in your face on day of judgment because they don't fulfill all his standards. That's why Muslims are so careful. They have so many rules. Like you said yesterday about even in fasting, are you allowed to swallow your own saliva? It's like that detailed. Uh, how do you face Mecca exactly? Where do you put your feet? Which foot to go into the uh, bathroom with and which foot out? Like it's that detailed because Allah is so petty. Like it is, said, that, it is that much detailed so that like, yeah. you know, by default, you should be knowing by default, Quran yeah. doesn't go to the bathroom. Yeah, she, it is that she detailed. Take, you take the Quran to the bathroom. Muhammad said the bathroom is where the, the demons, the jinns are. And when you go in, you have to say a, a dua, like a supplication to protect yourself from them. And you taking Allah's holy words into the place of demons, that's just an abomination to Allah. <laughs> uh, I, I just, the Allah is merciful. We have Allah's mercy on that. You don't. There's no such thing in Islam. Allah is petty and he is vengeful if you break his rules and you're breaking them left and right um, Queen, I'm afraid so Allah, Allah is merciful when you are age 29 only 29 his mercy just changes uh, when you turn to 30 uh, <laughs> so what, one of the things you see on the screen is now she's in the walking somewhere okay remember like she was telling people to go for walk all those kind of things she's not trying to do her goals okay now she had her nap. Now she's going for. <laughs> and, uh, in the previous, <laughs> such a... yeah, just one. In the, in previous, I think she was at home without headscarf, okay, and she's on the praying position without headscarf. And now she's out with lovely accessoire. What do you think, sister? I told you, sister, before we started this. Um, my mom is a staunch Muslim. Uh, the hijab has to be perfect for her to approve. You know what she calls these things? The turbans? Shall oh, I say? She calls them underwear hijabs because it looks like you have underwear on your head. Um, and it makes a mockery of Islam according to her because hijab is meant to be covering the whole body, only allowing the face and hands to be shown. So the neck, the part where the hair strands that you can see the top of the hair that's not allowed the neck is not allowed the ears are not allowed um and you know some muslims would say the face you know full of makeup if you have makeup you ought to cover your face as well so this underwear hijab that she has on sister doesn't get approval i'm afraid um yeah we will talk about that but um 
Um, I noticed uh, beloved Sofia films in the chat and questioning regarding what happened to his uh, admin skills. Um, I did have a couple of a month ago nearly. Um, all my moderators were kicked out, so I had to redo them. Um, so I just make you re-moderator. I hope that worked. Please just confirm it if it has worked or not. And I hope you are well. You are well. Okay. So um, now she's after the nap. She's going forward. <laughs> okay. Like she didn't have time to like listen to Friday khutbah. Now she's going for a walk. She's got time to go for a walk. Priorities. Mm -hmm. Important. Important. Priorities are important. Let's see. It's a daily walk and as you can see I am wearing a turban. Um, I recently got this. I got it from Vera London. I'll link their website below because I'm really happy with it. I feel like this is super comfortable and a little bit more easier for me to wear right now. I know people have different opinions on a turban and I think that if you are male and you have an opinion then you should not be sharing that at all because it's nothing to do with you <laughs> and I think if you are a woman then you understand the um, struggle to wear hijab anyway especially um, in the UK and especially as a revert it's something really very, very big, um, but I feel like I like the turban as a midway between hijab and no hijab and Ramadan meets us where we are and this is where I am right now with it. The other thing that I'm... Ramadan meets where we are and this is where she is. So Ramadan meets with you while you are walking on the corner uh, and there is some roadworks uh, seems to be doing and Allah meets you where you are, but... I find it's a bit interesting. She says, I'm wearing this turban and if you are a man, don't share your opinion with me. Sorry about Umar who caused Muhammad, um, Muhammad and Allah, sorry, Muhammad and Umar who caused hijab to step into the Muslim world for covering. Probably they should apologize to this lady since she simply says keep your opinion to yourself if you are a man and of <laughs> course we know apparently hijab is not comfortable so she meets in the middle allah is so flexible when it comes to how you cover up allah is so flexible <laughs> and allah is like so merciful allah will meet, make himself more flexible i think she thinks like she's the new Allah is her like new cuddling cuddling baby or cuddling blanket or something. <laughs> and I will also make a comment regarding I find it is disturbing and disgusting. A woman in Britain tells that there is a struggle in Britain if you wear hijab. Such a lie. People are in Muslim majority countries are being prisoned because they are forced to wear hijab. And now she's like, oh, wearing hijab is causing me to persecution. Just a lie and lie. This is like, why look at those faces and then learn this is the face of playing victim games. Mm. I am so suffering because I have hijab. Oh, yep. Yep, in her dreams. But anyway. Anyway. Um... So, what do you think so far, sister? Remember, sister, what I said at the beginning? This is about advertising and merching. Did you hear that she said the brand where she got this yeah. underwear hijab from? Yes. And uh, no men are allowed an opinion. Can she say that to Sharia police that walk the streets in Saudi and they beat the women with sticks? If she walks out like that in Saudi? Or if she was in front of Umar like this? Exactly, sister. We know that uh, Omar, Omar ibn Khattab, the second caliph, he used to beat slave girls uh, depending on their dress code. Uh, he would actually was actually would beat them because they wore the hijab because hijab was protection. Remember from being abused, he beat them and say, "Take it off. You're yeah. a slave girl. Don't and pretend also, to be a free." Also, it was also it was Moha, um, Umar who caused, um, who was kind of what what is the checking out. <laughs> Sauda at night and then caused went to Muhammad with the idea of cover up and then from that suddenly Allah 
give the verses. One of the verses, which is in the Quran, made into the Quran with the uh, originally revelation of Umar, went to Muhammad and then that went to Allah and then suddenly it came down. So without Uthman, Allah wouldn't even give those verses. But they were all men. They should be keeping their opinion themselves since they are not covering <laughs> Surah 33 verse 59. Amen, but amen. but I think Muhammad should be apologizing to her for sharing yeah. that your opinion and Umar of course. Yeah, uh she if Muhammad was here, she'd be like, keep your keep your opinion to yourself. Even though Muhammad himself, a man, used to tell women to cover everything except face and hands. And he said that to someone called Asma, Sahih Hadith in Sunan Abi Dawood four one zero four. Omar, like you said, your husband, if she has one, has a say. Has a say. Because remember, you obey everything. You obey your husband everything. If husband says cover your face, you cover your face. If husband says you don't wear this, you don't wear this. Or you wear that, you wear that. Complete obedience. So I don't know where, she, where Mufti Quinn gets the this men don't have an opinion. If there's any religion on earth where men have an opinion over women, it's Islam. <laughs> Yeah. I guess this is the moment like she's probably banging her head to wall. I wish Mohammed asked me nicely if I should cover. And then remember why she's not putting it up? Because it's not comfortable. We got a Muslim in the chat, sister, called Ahl Sunnah. He says, you two seem so jealous of my beloved sister. Keep crying. Allah I guide know. you. I'm so jealous that she's <laughs> destroying Islam and causing people to go to hell. I'm so <laughs> jealous that she's causing Muslims to commit sh um, fitna. I'm so jealous that she's like teaching false Islam and I'm so jealous you are not even bothering to get in touch with her regarding your faith. Yep, I'm very, I'm, very jealous. Yeah, I'm jealous of that underwear hijab. I want, I want one. <laughs> yeah, uh, it will be nice with like your hair, all those kind of things. Yeah? And you can see her full neck like she's got that turban thing and then you can see her full neck like uh, Ahl Sunnah, are you happy about this hijab she's got on? Why don't you go and tell your sister that Allah looks with anger on what she's doing? She's making up her own religion, which is against your religion. And if you have any integrity, you would be going to her, correcting her first. You know this is not hijab. Don't tell me this is hijab. You know full well what hijab is. And she's giving uh, mufti advice. She's being a grand mufti of the UK, telling people, uh, take it easy on the rules of your religion. You have no care for the rules of your religion as long as people like her convert and deceive others, even if they don't follow the rules. Because all you care about is converts, number of converts. It is something to um, converting to Islam and trying to learn Islam, but it is something else when when you try to misguide people intentionally with not knowing anything and then pretend you know everything. What was that famous word that we learned last year by um, Sheikh Yasir Kadi? Ultra, oh. ultra crepidarian, that word, that's what she's doing. <laughs> she doesn't know anything about Islam and she's guiding people for Ramadan. And she's so, you know why she has to keep changing the rules? Because she's so uncomfortable with Islam. She says she's uncomfortable with the hijab, so she has to find a midway between a hijab and a non-hijab. She's following a religion it. that's uncomfortable. She's trying to make a way. Allah is merciful. Take it easy. <laughs> Allah like, is merciful. I'm not comfortable with this. I'll just make the laws flexible I, for me. <laughs> you know? Do you know how hard it is uh, for us to leave Islam? I come to the Lord Jesus Christ because I love him and I'm keen on him. I don't want to bend any of his commandments to make them comfortable. No, I, I'm keen on him. She's come into a religion and found that it's uncomfortable, so she's changing it. That's that's the difference. So she doesn't. <laughs> do you think? She doesn't want to. She doesn't want. She knows like okay, this religion is uncomfortable and it is messing and. Men shouldn't make a comment about it because it's not their business by, while it's religion which is made for men. Um, 
she feels she has to stuck there. Why? Because she can advertise those things and then make money. I don't know her heart, but if that is the intention, I'm very much afraid on her behalf with the Muslim, but by thinking what Islam teaches. Um, it is seriously. So we're, I'm concerned. We're, we're jealous of that her uncomfortable religion. Yeah, we want to be uncomfortable. I want to be uncomfortable when my heart inclines towards something else beside my God. I want to be uncomfortable when I sin and when I know my sins are getting bigger, 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 bigger than my hair. I want to be uncomfortable. But I don't want to be uncomfortable in the love Lord Jesus Christ pours upon me. The faith I follow. I want to be uncomfortable with my sin. But, but what we have here... She's uncomfortable with the teachings of the ideology. And she wants to make that comfortable by simply committing sin. Amen. People have noticed her necklace, sister. What is it? Sorry? People have noticed her necklace. Was oh, what, what, what is it? Come on, sister. We will come to that one. Wait for it. Patience, people. Patience. She, she will mm. show that to us little bit just mm. wait okay i i hope we, d we do have that part in the clip yeah because it was in the anyway yeah we'll, yeah we'll see well, i'll keep keep a note for it for later sister so we won't forget yeah okay so now um so when it comes to we talked about her prayer life we talked about her hijab history and then uh, she explained that hijab is uncomfortable and there is a uh, struggle um, in Britain, to, uh, for those who are wearing hijab, that's just worse than a lie. That's worse than a lie. And then we heard that it is not man's business to make a comment about it. Um, that was simply she was discrediting Umar and Muhammad and Allah, as well as today's scholars. And then, uh, I think, yeah, let's move on now on the walk is listening to um, some videos about the Quran and I know I said in my intentions video so I was going to be listening to Cambridge Central Mosque because they were doing some tafsir every day um, which I started off doing but to be honest they're just a little bit too long for me um, one of them was like an hour and a half and then the others were just over an hour so then I heard about um, Yakin Institute, my favourite, <laughs> and it's a bit more manageable. It's half an hour to 40 minutes so far. And I think that's just an example, like I was saying earlier, of things that you might want to set goals for Ramadan. Um, but obviously when it comes to the reality, <laughs> then things change. And as you can see, I have got my Ramadan. Okay. Um... So daughter of Christ, her goals are <laughs> changed. Why? Poor girl, she fell asleep during the khutbah earlier. <laughs> and poor girl, listening the explanation of the Quran, which takes over an hour, even one and a half an hour. That is just too long. She doesn't have time. <laughs> what she's doing now, she's speaking something which is only 40 minutes to half, half an hour to 40 minutes. So, what do you feel about this with the queen? Uh, she's like... I know I set a goal for this tafsir series, but man, it's like an hour long. I need to cut that in half. This is too long. This this doesn't fit in with my take it easy lifestyle. <laughs> an hour, sister, an hour is too long? Sister, an hour is too long for the time where, time of the year when you need to put your full focus on Allah. Giving an hour to someone who explains you to the word of Allah is too long. Yep. And this is like, she's already been like a Muslim over a year now. I know, I understand why, sister, she thinks she feels this too. She falls asleep during the khutbah and she finds the tafsir too long. I shall tell you why. Because it's boring as anything. It's so boring. It's either, I'm sure the tafsir that they, series that she did was in English, but the Arabic, she probably falls asleep through it. Sister, it, it, trying to sit through an, a Muslim khutbah or sermon or tafsir, the Quran is so boring. It's all, what is it talking about? What Muhammad did in battle in this situation or that situation? 
goes into minute detail of a, a warlord's battles or women, or so, or it says, well, we don't know what this means in the clear Quran. Once someone says something, someone says another thing about Allah knows best, all these views, it's so boring. Yeah, and also uh, yesterday I did mention, I wasn't fully sure how long does it take to read the Quran from Surah Fatiha to Surah Nas, um, Surah 1 to Surah 114. Uh, if you take, I think I took five coffee break okay mm. it takes only 17.5 hours and wow. I, read, I read it very slowly and even like that are the things like i had to underline all that all those kind of things it, uh, reading the quran doesn't even take a day yet she's finding too long she's finding too long to listen over an hour lecture in the time where she supposed to be connecting with word of Allah and Allah and always too long what she did is let me change my <laughs> goal there is like another by the way I did I did follow one of the Yakin institutions video that was so funny so she's looking for entertaining she doesn't want to fall yeah. asleep and that is entertaining versus reading the tafsir pick the entertaining well, obviously, sister, she's Mufti Quinn, the take it easy Mufti. I feel I'm better Muslim than her. I read it like over a, over a night. I know, sister, that's dedication. I, <laughs> I, I just wanted to, that. I wanted to keep the time, like, because I wasn't sure exactly how long did it take. But I read it, 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 it took only like 17.5, but that was like very slow reading. I like took time for coffee break and then underlined the thing. Even like I spent nearly an hour with someone on Skype. I just like still I was able to kind of finish it in 17.5 17.5 hours. So this is remember this is Ramadan sister where people actually take time off work to devote themselves. Yeah. And she one hour is too long. Yeah. Uh, and she's ch sister we we have like a, a daily uh, Bible study it we stop at 2 hours and people still want to carry on. Yeah. And talk and uh, go into deeper into the verses. We're not talking muftis like her, like her level. We're talking normal <laughs> Christians, right? Uh, and she can't be bothered with one hour. Yep. It is. Come on, sister. It is hard work. You have no mercy for this lady who is. Who was only twenty nine and she's now thirty. Uh, by the way, twenty nine and thirty, sister, is might be young for the Western. But in Muslim in Muslim years, she's like, yeah, like grand, grand, <laughs> grandmother, grandmother. Remember, Aisha yeah. was Aisha was only nine when Muhammad was climbing top of her, and she became the mother of believers. She's like twice of her age yeah. when Muhammad died. Um, anyway, of she's course, too young to be take. She's too old to be taking it this easy. <laughs> All I can she's, say. It's it's so hard for her sister. Remember. <laughs> Allah is the most merciful one, except Surah 9, of course. But overall, Allah is like so merciful. It's okay. Okay, okay. Um, let's continue. I'm doing on the walk is listening to um, some videos about the Quran and I know I said in my intentions video that I was going to be listening to Cambridge Central Mosque because they were doing some tafsir every day um, which I started off doing but to be honest they're just a little bit too long for me um, one of them was like an hour and a half and then the others were just over an hour so then I heard about um, Yakin Institute, my favorite, <laughs> and it's a bit more manageable. It's half an hour to 40 minutes so far. And I think that's just an example, like I was saying earlier, of things that you might want to set goals for Ramadan. Um, but obviously when it comes to the reality, <laughs> then things change. And as you can see, I've got my Ramadan decorations behind me um, and I've got a couple in my bedroom as well. Definitely seeing these in the kitchen in the morning when I'm waking up at like quarter past four to make uh, breakfast um, is very, very nice. I didn't want to lose my fitness. Okay, sister. Tell me about these Ramadan decorations. Clearly they stole from Christians from their Christmas decoration, but tell me, what do you think mm. about it? So that was another merch um, advert, which I took the name of the company out. 
thank you. Um, but that's what she was doing. Uh, she was saying you can get them from this place, etc. Um, by the way, what she said, sister, she said when I get up at four in the morning for suhoor breakfast. and I for breakfast for breakfast. Well, well, the, the proper name is Suhoor Queen, if you're listening. But anyway, uh, when she wakes up for that, it's and she looks at the decorations, it's so nice. When you wake up at that hour, um, you're so tired and grumpy. No amount of decorations, I know from experience, no amount of lovely whatever you're looking at will <laughs> um, alleviate that. Just if you have any type of normal life structure where you have to get up again at 7 a.m. to go to work, um, yeah. That doesn't. Then decorations aren't gonna cut it. What do you think? Um, I don't find where it is in Islam that those things were acceptable. So Buddha is apparently okay according to our Mufti Queen, which is absolutely fine. But don't fall into those things and then give your money for those rubbish things. They are just no, no, no. They are like big double no's. Um, mm-hmm. Sad, sad. Apparently. Um, we will hear actually she wakes up for breakfast she doesn't even say like oh i wake up for prayer she's like i woke up for breakfast oh yeah i didn't know i noticed that yeah it's food (laughs) i don't want to miss my breakfast otherwise because i can't have my big lunch anyway now it's it's been long day now see she came home that turban thing, underwear scarf thing, underwear hijab, whatever you would, your mom would call that, sister. Yeah, underwear Sudden, hijab. Yeah, suddenly got lost. Yeah, why is this hijab that's on and off? Like, it's on when she's out, but she's in front of the camera here to the whole world. So, technically, she should still have her uh, underwear hijab on if that's what she's going for. Uh, yeah, I, I forgot my hat. I, I, like, you put it on, you take out. You put your scarf on, you take it out. Whenever you want, you know. It's all about, like... I was. I noticed like um, yesterday. I forgot to put my scarf on. Suddenly, like someone made a comment. I was like, "Oh, okay, that's getting attention." And then I just put my scarf on. So you just you are very you are you need to be careful. Like people are watching, so you don't want people to see the things they shouldn't be seeing. So you cover it up. What she does is, yeah, the street she walked. It was very quiet. She puts <laughs> the um, underwear hijab, and then she comes home. Hundreds of people are watching her, and then she takes it off. <laughs> oh, let, th- let them see my beautiful hair. Sister, Mufti Quinn, she treats hijab like it's a hat. That yeah. It's optional. You can take it off or put it on, depending mm. on... No, hijab is not a hat. It's not optional. If you're in public being seen by anyone, besides your husband and family, you put that hijab on. So if you go for the underwear hijab, why not just stick with it? It's like she's Sister. not even faithful to that. Sister, Allah is merciful. <laughs> He's not that merciful. <laughs> Allah is merciful. Allah is not going to burn her because she didn't put hijab in front of all of her views. Come on, underwear hijab, of course, not like proper hijab. Allah is not going to do that. Come on, Allah Allah is not kind of think that she's a whore because she's not covering it up. Like, yeah. it's not people are going to abuse her because she's not covered up. Allah is most merciful. He's not that merciful. You, you do know what Muhammad said about these women, like you said, sister, the W word. Oh, sorry, I forgot that you don't verbalize those things. Yes. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> Ibn Kathir. Those are who are not Nekati. covered, they are whores, according to, not according to, yeah. according to your teachings. But anyway, so. Yeah, it's not us who are calling you this queen. It's not us. It's your religion. Tafsir Ibn Kasir. You remember the tafsir that you skipped on? You didn't want to listen to it? This it was one hour at one and a half an hour long. Why do you expect her to listen to that? Come on. If she if she'd listened to the tafsir of Ibn know. Kasir of Surah fifty five verse sorry, sorry, Surah thirty three verse fifty nine. Yeah. You would have known. Just go to online, it's quicker, you'll find it. Yeah, and he like, does use that it's been, for you. Yeah, it's been only like they're doing only this is like just a week now. So they they haven't come to that part yet. She already after like second day she decided, okay, these are too long. I'm gonna change my goalpost. Why? Just too long and boring. <laughs> She's the mufti. She can do whatever she wants. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. Let's let's get on. Um, wow. We did. Oh, um, we we are just over half of the video. So three more minutes to go. Patience. 
it came to Ramadan, I go on my laptop here and I put on a live class. And so they've given us much, much more breaks in between um, the moves than what you probably would normally do. I'm gonna sit down now and read some of my Quran. I did share in my intentions video I wanted to read an app. Okay, so let, let's focus. Let, let's stop it in here. So, um, joining the Ramadan, she's not signing up. Like, she's not even putting an hour to listen to the tafsir. But she's <laughs> signing up to make a commitment for exercise. Priorities. Priorities. Great priorities. Why? Allah is just so merciful. That's what it's about, sister. Like you put in the title, Islam is just a new diet to her. It's just yep. a fad. It's yep. about fitness. Um, there was a, another merging opportunity here as well. She did put the name of the Muslim app. group that she's yeah. up that she's uh, obviously I've taken it out. More advertising system, or yeah. she, as you can see, she says link below for everything she's um, done. But, so. but probably like she kind of thought for years okay what what are the things i've got to do to get rid of i don't know belly fat or um become oh, a teen um, a become life a teen, whatever anyway so she wanted to become a teen and then she couldn't figure out those how can she do it and then she come across with this beautiful muslim app joining the ramadan joining the ramadan okay it's not like she's signing. There are like is apps. I I am signed up that I'm following, um, Islamic teachings during the Ramadan. Even I am following that up as a Christian. <laughs> she is signing up, exercise up, <laughs> in Ramadan when she's meant to be feasting, focused on <laughs> yeah, focused on more important things, following the Sunnah. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. but, no, but now she sat down to read the Quran so that's good, that's a good part yeah but we will see how that's gonna go okay so I'm gonna okay. do 30 seconds back and then we cut. oh sorry 30 seconds apparently we come okay let's sorry this is let's pick up from here sorry about that i am gonna sit down now and read some of my quran i did share in my intentions video i wanted to read an hour of the quran every day which to be honest i didn't think was going to be that hard because you know what is an hour um but it has been hard. I have not done an hour so far yet. I'm kind of rethinking that um, one hour intention as well. My life is very easy, um, alhamdulillah. Um, you know, I work from home. My work schedule is very flexible because I just work on my laptop. And at the moment, I'm kind of like making videos and doing social media. So I'm on my phone a lot. Um, but that is kind of what is my work as well. And also, you know, I don't have a family to cook for or anyone else to cook for or anything else to think about. So it's just myself, um, which has made it easier. I'm not actually started reading yet. I just thought I'd put the put something on my phone just so I've got some nice background. And yeah, I just went onto YouTube and went on to Mecca Lies. Just so interesting to be able to see what's happening in Mecca. Wow, they're actually praying. I think they're praying Aisha. Well, yeah, they're definitely praying Aisha. The sun is starting to set. I have 45 minutes. Okay, let's let's stop that. Um, sister, tell me. Uh, <laughs> tell me what do you think? I'm gonna be mean again, sister. I'm sorry. Come on, sister. Uh, uh, part of it <sighs> sounded like a like a marriage advert. Advert. I don't have anyone else to cook for, anyone else to think about. I have a very easy life. Hint, hint. <laughs> it's like uh, not very subtle, Quinn. Um, it makes me worry about her uh, becoming um, bait, becoming a target for some dawa gangs. I'm worry. I worry because we all know how this ends. Um, oh, so 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 so, she sat down to read the Quran for an hour. What did she yeah. do? She did went to social media and then she want everyone to give their attention to the necklace, which she suddenly took out under her jumper. And what is that necklace, sister? Tell me. It's got a moon symbol on it, half moon. 
a crescent moon. I, I wonder why why she's got a crescent moon symbol uh, on her necklace. Probably no one told her that was from the Babylonian Empire, Babylonians where Islam stole it. Moon god. A moon god, yeah. Um, flags, the term flags moon, in Muslim countries. The term hmm. moon god is not from nothing, Quinn. Um, why is it that not just on her necklace, but on a lot of the mosque's minarets, they still keep that symbolism of the crescent moon because of their links to pagan moon worship? Yeah, in, major, in majority Muslim countries, in their flags, you've got that uh, moon shape, hilal. Um, I don't yeah, know the hilal, English. Yeah. yeah, I don't know the English word for that. And so I just thought it would be good to just get attention for my neck. This is as at, at this point because it's full of distraction, you know, sudden like you don't even know you had a necklace. She notices my moon shaped necklace is not there. Let me take it out and then make sure everyone sees. And then let yeah. me see. I had to find those things because I don't wear those things. But I especially put them on for you people to get attention to my necklaces. It is good because I kind of thought, yeah, full destruction, just nothing. Allah is all merciful. And one of my, this necklace, oh, I don't know which one I put it up, but one of them supposed to be saying, I don't know if this is that one. Um, so one of them supposed to be saying, beloved savior and Jesus. I don't know if this, this one, if this is not that one, this one is the faithful Lamb of God and Alpha and Omega. It's supposed to be saying that. I don't know which one is this one. I made them, by the way. And then mm. this necklace, sadly, it doesn't. It's not the um, moon or anything. Um, what, what do you call so? It you can open this, and then in it, I wrote it one day. What did I wrote it? Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess Jesus Christ is the Lord. So I just thought since she suddenly wanted to bring attention to the, this moon on her neck, I just especially, especially, especially put it for you that I'll get attention to my neck. This is, and then full destruction is always good. Always good. Please do forgive me for that. Uh, that's right, sister. Uh, people in the chat, um, Muslims are trying to distract. Please uh, do not give them the attention. If people want to speak to my sister, she has open Skype. Oh, not they today. They want to speak to me uh, probably about my neck. This is. They are asking <laughs> why it is not the moon. Yeah. Or they are asking like, okay, just... this poor girl. She was only twenty nine last last year. Now she's thirty, and she is scheduling to read the Quran during the holy month for an hour. The moment she opens the Quran, magic happens. Suddenly, social media, she wants to know what's happening in Mecca. Sister, I told you because it's boring. You and, can't, um, it's mind numbingly boring. The only reason, like, we used to read it is because we were forced into it from when we were little. No person with a grown mind, <laughs> adult, can sit there and actually enjoy reading this dri drivel. As soon as you open it, it talks about nonsense, then you pick something else up. Uh, sister, did she say praying? Aisha, they were praying Ar Aisha. Ar <laughs> she meant <laughs> sister, sister, come on. I told you, can't you practice to be like Allah? Be most merciful, sister. There is nothing wrong with that, you know? Poor praying man. Aisha, they were praying Aisha in Mecca. <laughs> Aisha is Muhammad's child bride. They were praying Aisha. That's the last prayer. Um, I think I'm going to need to offer her classes, Arabic classes, sister. It's okay. I think um, I think they're supposed to be praying like um, afternoon or evening prayer because yeah, if you look at the yeah, time, I don't think it would be. Um, but let's let's give her the benefit of the doubt. If that's what she meant, it's not Aisha. Um, oh dear, oh dear. Be, be gracious. I told you there is nothing wrong for you to practice to be like Allah. Okay. I know you don't have the curly hair. I don't know you don't have the mustache. I know you've got like two shins, all those kind of things, and you never uncover your shins. But right now, she needs <laughs> encouragement, sister. It took her, her she sh wanted to take out, take out her necklace, wanted to show it the whole world, alongside of saying to the people, yep, when I need to read the Quran, which I schedule to do, so, do for, um, uh, for an hour each day, I get distracted. 
Uh, sister, but... I don't know what's left for this lady. The one hour tafsir, she doesn't want to, she listen. thinks it's too long. She's the one hour that Quran. Was like listening. So that was listening. And then other thing is like, sorry for interrupting, but in here she says like, okay, the reason she gets distracted by the social media because she's reading the Quran. She wanted to put something nice on the background, you know, like BBC Radio <laughs> 4 or classical music or something. And then she just like suddenly figures out Mecca. Sister, I'm, I'm sorry to say this. Probably this don't is be the sorry. La- Please don't be sorry. Just say it. It's, this is the laziest Muslim I've ever seen. She isn't doesn't bother to learn the surahs that are like four year old children. They're so they're so short that four year old kids can learn. For her five a day prayers, she falls asleep during the khutbah. She's too busy to um, be listening to one hour a day of tafsir in Ramadan. She doesn't want to do one hour of Quran either, which is the word of Allah. She gets distracted by social media. She'd rather work on her Instagram and than And encourages do her. Pe- points people to the moon god. <laughs> points people to the moon god, uh, declares that she's single, um, while she knows she knows she has an active Instagram. You know, you put the two and two together. Like The only way she could have been more obvious is if she'd written, I'm single on her forehead with big letters. Like, And she's doing a workout. She's merging on from everything. Merching on the decorations, merging on the workout app, merging on the uh, Vera uh, underwear hijab, um, merging, <laughs> uh, merging. I don't know if there's a merging deal with the uh, the Kyokin Institute. I'm so Sister. I'm so disappointed. No, actually, you can just listen to them, Sister. I'm so disappointed that in the video there was a part where she was in the kitchen and making her breakfast. Mm. Uh, that kitchen was like so messy like she doesn't even have time to even clean tidy up her kitchen and she's got time to check out what's happening on social media and she's doing that in the apparently so-called holy smile where she's supposed to be like <laughs> focus on Allah and his word uh, I, d- I, d- I don't know I don't know and uh, Allah is merciful is that excuse for everything it's not the excuse, sister. Allah is merciful. Come on. He is merciful. Anyway, let's... Shall we continue? Let's continue. Um, which has made it easier. That's what she's doing, like, playing with her thing. Um, I'm not actually started reading yet. I just thought I'd put the put something on my phone just so I've got some nice background and yeah I just went onto YouTube and went on to Mecca Lies. Just so interesting to be able to see what's happening in Mecca. Wow they're actually praying. I think they're praying Aisha. Well yeah they're definitely praying Aisha. (laughs) The sun is starting to set. I have 45 minutes so I'm going to start making iftar. Um, I did see it recommended um, by the nutritionist to not have the actual meal for iftar like as soon as you can break your fast, especially here in the UK with it being so late at quarter past eight. But she was recommending to have some dates like is recommended and is sunnah and then maybe to have a green juice and then to give it a little bit of time and then have dinner. I love veggie sausages, gotta love potato and then a few veggies in there as well. So a bit similar. Obviously iftar is so late. Some of you probably noticed that messy kitchen and probably noticed uh, where she gets her uh, dieting and cooking skills, all that structure. Um, Yeah, so if you want to pick up new diet, if you want to pick up new shopping place, only way you can do that, best way is to become a Muslim, I think. It's funny, sister. She's definitely not living the Muslim uh, life, maybe because she doesn't have a family, like she said. Starting preparing for iftar 45 minutes before. <laughs> you prepare for that from hours, six hours before. Uh, but on the serious side, all she's talking about is nutritionist, dinner, what she's going to have. I haven't seen her pray Maghrib. Oh, no, no, she's going to say before she eats, she's going to say Bismillah, that's it. That's not enough. You need to pray. <laughs> come on, come on, sister. Just 
I told you Allah is so merciful. Just be kind and be merciful. Poor lady. Uh, probably because she hasn't learned the Surah Al-Ikhlas yet, the small surahs that she needs to pray. Cause no, she Allah knows the Ikhlas. She doesn't know the Nas and Surah yeah. 113. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. You can't pray, by the way, without those surahs. So, uh, mm. yeah, like you said, sister, Islam is just a new diet for her. I really hope there's nothing haram in that food because that would just kill it. Yeah, probably she didn't. Say it. <laughs> but anyway, oh, no, no. She had a date. Remember, she had two dates, oh. um, so that will that will recover her. It's supposed to be seven, but Allah is merciful. I'm sure, I'm sure Allah will help you. I hope she doesn't like bake a pork pie and say Allah's merciful and start eating it. <laughs> I really hope not. <laughs> okay, let, let, let's go. Do you? Yes, got a love potato, and then a few veggies in there as well. So Bismillah. Obviously, iftar is so late, um, and I do like to try and go to bed early, kind of like 11 o'clock is quite late for me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it feels like a really, really short time to fit everything in. I know I mentioned um, in my other video about Tarawi prayers, and I don't know, I feel like it's not something I've done yet. Um, I don't know if I'm just completely over complicating it in my mind. But again, Ramadan meets you where you are. And right now I just feel like I'm not at that extra kind of stage, um, which I think is okay. I really don't want to go on Netflix at all um, during Ramadan. But I think that that's okay. I feel like at the same time, although I want to be consuming a lot of religious content, learning, I and I do want to be, that's mainly what I'm consuming. Um, I think you have to have a few little bits of other things here and there but I'm definitely going to focus on it being more kind of like vlogs from people that I enjoy watching on YouTube rather than kind of like stupid series on Netflix that I just watch because I'm bored. I hope you have a blessed Ramadan for the rest of the month. Sister, <laughs> she's not even doing tarawih prayer sister because she goes to sleep early. <laughs> it's Everything okay, is Allah is now. merciful. Allah meets with people where they are at. I, I can't, I can't. I, would I have had a choice, sister? Basically, it is, if you grow up in a Muslim, uh, in a Muslim family and they actually take this seriously, which Quinn isn't, after you eat, there's no such thing as going to sleep. You go and stand there. It takes two hours. Like um, nowadays it starts around half 10, finish at midnight. You stood up on your feet, praying with all the long surahs that, she doesn't know only the even the short sort of she couldn't memorize but uh but in you know, sister she she has to go to bed early so a day finished okay she didn't get to read her quran but she was able to show us her necklaces okay um she couldn't do uh she couldn't listen to tough series because they were too long but she was able to do her daily exercises and she needs to go to bed early, therefore she's not going to do the prayer. And of course, that's not enough. Like they finish without her to read the Quran, by the way. And of course, uh, now YouTube is going to distract her and Netflix. Uh, sorry, she's not going to watch the next Netflix. Sister, she said, I want to consume a lot of religious content. I haven't seen her consume any religious content. She did it. She fell. She fell asleep through the khutbah. She didn't listen to the tafsir that's one hour long, and she didn't do the uh, reading the Quran. She was on her um, social media and uh, watching Mecca. <laughs> Where is the religious content that she's consuming? I'm confused. Allah is merciful. Allah, Allah is meeting with her where she is at. That's important to remember, okay? Which is not Islamic, by the way. It's just her new. Yeah, where is this Ramadan religion. meets you where you're at? Is there a hadith or a verse that tells Where is this Bida innovation from, uh, Queen? Mufti Queen, sister. Be oh, respectful, sorry. sister. Come on. Be merciful. Be respectful, Mufti Queen. If the queen sits down for prayer, where is that part? Sits down for <laughs> prayer without hijab and then with, like, you can see her, half of her arms. And then there is a part where she goes out with under underwear hijab where you can see half of her neck, more than half of her neck. Poor girl, she didn't even know, like, what to pray during the, her prayers. 
and then she didn't have time for basic Muslim things. And now, day is finished. It's a really long day now. She needs her beauty sleep because that <laughs> nap journey to Khutbah was not enough. <laughs> and it is, it is hard work to keep, continue to stay beautiful. She's pretty. It is. Yeah. But it's like, you can see there is a lot of, a lot of work. You need Quran in the bathroom for your makeup. Yeah. You need your exercises. You need to do like you need to sign up to app to do your regular exercise. You need to go to bed early for beauty sleep. It is very hard work to stay beautiful during Ramadan. But if you are hunting for new shops, if you are hunting for um, if you are hunting for have to stay, have to do get on the diet and lose weight, all those kind of things then Islam is for you. Everything is optional to this lady. Allah meets her where she is. Allah is merciful. Uh, uh, by the way, she didn't explain what do you mean by uh, uh, Ramadan meets you where you are. If she means, if, if it was a spiritual reason, I understand, but she said it's because she needs to go to bed. It's a practical thing. It's inconveniencing her. So that's her excuse. It's not due to a spiritual reason or any other reason it's just inconvenience yeah remember disciples of jesus sleeps when jesus in the, is in the garden of gethsemane yeah their priority they couldn't stay awake and in here it's only it's only like 30 days and she's she was only 29 years old yet last year and now she's 30 years old and she couldn't like stay up until like 11 Hard work, sister. It, well, is, it is hard work to be Muslim. It is actually, Ramadan is hard work. I give her that. I used to be exhausted because Allah is so petty and demanding. And I never thought that, oh, he meets me where I am. He's merciful. I, I ought not to do it. Because I knew it was this not optional. It's compulsory. All of it is compulsory. Uh, by the way, all these days that she's not fasting or she's drinking water or she's half fasting, uh, it's compulsory. Allah doesn't forget it. She has to make them up properly at some point. Um, she can't just leave it and call it a fast. Yeah, if she's uh, like having her... Um, anyway. Yeah. And if she misses any prayers, all the prayers that while she's taking her time, she has to make learning those short surahs, she has to make up those prayers. They don't just go away. They're compulsory. Allah has a list. Tick box. Remember the journal that she had with the tick box? Yep. If you don't have... Yesterday's video. You miss prayers. If you miss prayers, as soon as you become Muslim, the record starts. You have to do all your prayers. Uh, Muhammad doesn't give, didn't give a concession for new Muslims while they, they get started. Just take it easy and miss prayers and miss fasts. There's Muhammad no didn't thing. say, it's okay, Allah will meet you where you are. Allah is yeah, so no. merciful. He never said it. Muhammad was like, if you're not, if you're not in the masjid for Fajr prayer, I wish I could burn your houses down. You report to me in the mosque every day. There's not <laughs> all this take it easy stuff. It's just new fatwa sister from this lady. It is, it is um, really, really sad how, how as she finds this ideology very uncomfortable, as she struggles, instead of giving up the ideology, she makes it flexible for herself and try to justify it of course that's not enough what she does is like encourages others to simply justify it practice and follow advices she's giving as well as of course there is another intention to advertise certain shops and apps that contribute to the world of um contribute to the certain things what I don't get, sister, if she finds it so uncomfortable and so difficult, why is she following it? Hmm, because Allah is merciful, sister. Allah meets with her where she is. If, 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 when, whatever, if every time you find a rule, you say, ah, uh, it's not where I am at the moment. I don't think so. No, take too long. No, shrug shoulders. Forget it. Take it easy. What's the point of following something if you're not going to follow through? Just don't do it. Might as well not do it at all until... Like, why commit to it if you can't do it? I, I don't understand. Instead of committing to something to try and change it and be a mufti, just don't commit to it if 
you're too lazy or it's on inconveniences you or you think it's crazy like she said in the previous video just don't do it and other thing is um it is strange that how muslims are coming alongside her and no one is like confronting her she has been muslim over a year no one bothered to tell her what prayers she needs to say during to her prayer. She just finds that out like recently. No one told her, oh, when you pray, you cover your hair. No one bothered to, like she doesn't, as she prays, she doesn't even put yeah. underwear hijab on. Yeah. That, like, let alone like proper hijab. It's really, really sad because even by the standards of Allah, she's she's not doing any of his um, requirements to go to paradise. Remember, Islam is very work-based religion. So she's going into a work-based religion, not willing to do the work. So she's doomed according to that religion, even. <sighs> and as, as I said, like it's more disturbing when Muslims come alongside her and just support her instead of like, okay, Let's pull yourself together. You've got a platform. If you want to be a voice, of, voice for new believers or voice for Islam, then you need to get it right. But that's not even happening. That's not even happening. Sad, 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 sad. Um, Thought of Christ. Yes. Um, why don't you just summarize the video for us um, and then be finish it there so we can go and read the bible you know like it's not like it's yes. like we need a background noise or we need to take the bible to bathroom to listen those kind of things or someone reads for us we can actually read it yeah and we understand what we read and we don't Question. think our hour is too long <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah uh, because it's the word of god you know it it touches our heart it feeds <coughs> us we need it like food <coughs> Uh, it's not it's not some boring book that makes no sense that you need hundreds of tef tefsirs to uh, understand what it says and then you just get distracted and fall asleep. It's not that kind of book. Um, summarizing, sister, this is a lady who um, it's very obvious to me what she's doing. Don't know her heart, but there is a lot of merching of Ramadan-related products, Islam-related products on her. Uh, videos and this is one of those heavily merged videos unfortunately sister she's using her new faith brand new faith a religion that she converted to where she doesn't even know how to pray she doesn't know even how to how to say simple arabic phrases islamic phrases uh, and uh, she uses it to tell us how she is not able to meet her own set criteria for ramadan she finds it it's too long to listening to tafsirs uh, while she's walking. So a walk will take an hour. She can't sit through that hour. She had to cut it in half. Uh, she said she couldn't sit through one hour a day of Quran. Had to distract herself with other things. Uh, she doesn't want to do tarawih prayers, which is the night prayers in Ramadan. They are Ramadan-related prayers. You don't get those special lovely blessings, according to Muslims, any uh, other month. It's not where she's at because she has to go to bed early. All I've seen is eating healthy, nutritionist, workout, uh, walk in the park with the underwear hijab. That, that's what my mom calls it because it's not a hijab. I'm sorry, this is not a hijab. If you want to know what hijab looks like, look at what the Saudi ladies are wearing. That is proper hijab. And if she walks like that in Saudi, she would get beaten by the um, morality police, the Sharia police. Uh, she says some crazy things like men are, in Islam are not allowed to, to say, give an opinion on a woman's dress. If that's the kind of religion she wants to follow, she needs to follow something opposite to Islam. Because not only did Muhammad uh, uh, comment on it, Omar commented on it, Muslim men up to this day comment on it and rule by it. Um, that's what I say to her sister. Stop merching off religion. It's against in integrity. And especially that she's deceiving other ignorant people to join a religion, thinking it's all airy fairy, <laughs> uh, lovely rainbows and butterflies, like you said, sister, the other day, and it isn't. Oh. Sad, sad, sad.
misguiding people a misguided person per misguided person is misguiding people and people are simply following her and but um the bottom line is moses was capable to fast lord jesus christ fasted for 40 days and now muslims are trying to make their life easier they couldn't even hold on these 30 days of feasting sad 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 reality for dear muslim people of course as i said i didn't mean as i said when i said it's not personal it is a little bit not personal um she gave me like nearly three months strike for the live streams i've done about her so i think even though we were very kind we were very kind very kind we showed how merciful allah is <laughs> sadly allah is like zero merciful on the day of judgment when according to the islamic tradition when she's in front of allah i'm sure allah is gonna say yeah i met with you where you are remember the way you treat the prayer the way you treated the ramadan the way you treated me like as your underwear <laughs> the, the way you treated my religion as your underwear i met with you where you are even i met you when you were in bathroom yeah. and listening my word yeah and then Allah says, therefore, let me give you camel urine, which like hot or cold. <laughs> Probably that will be the conversation we'll take between them. But I don't know. I don't know. According to the Christian scripture, they will be asking mountains and the rocks to hide themselves as the face and the wrath of the Lamb of God. That's going to be very, very bad. No one is going to offer them um hot or cold camel urine or all these chitty chatty conversations it is serious and it might be useful for muslims to just gently get in touch with her and then tell her to pull herself together so that she doesn't destroy islam or she doesn't introduce new islam of course if that is the intention then please please continue to support her and come alongside her um yeah, with that, I think we can finish the evening tonight. Um, we will have Tony Costa tomorrow to talk about um, Ramadan as KFC, killing, feasting, and cursing. We will be looking at only a couple of those ones tomorrow evening with Tony Costa. That's 8.30. We will start a little bit later because he's like other part of the world. Life is like they are just behind, behind of us in the timeline. Um, and then we will have open Skype night by the grace of God um, on Friday evening. And then if everything works according to my plan, things should be easy. But as I said, this video might be get strike because protected groups don't like to be critic. And it wasn't even critic. We were just telling her how merciful Allah is. But you never know. You really, really, really never know. Um, Daughter of Christ, thank you very much for joining us and showing, being much more merciful than Allah. That was, <laughs> that was improvement from your side, sister. You know that. God bless you, sister. Thank you. And we hope she comes to the real merciful God who is the triune God. Yeah. And we do know how um, triune God shows his mercy, his just um, to us when eternal son of the father gives gives himself on the cross for us his love his just and his mercy meets together um dear beloved ones thank you very much for joining us may our crucified and risen lord silent you with his love as well as dear admins thank you very much for keeping people in order and making sure everything runs according to your judgment skills so thank you very much for that dear muslim friends i hope you will take a step from this and get in touch with your lovely 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 muslim sister who is looking for certain things you might be able to provide those things as well as encourage her to stick with islam or give up this uncomfortable ideology altogether you can run to the arms of lord jesus christ so god bless you all and we will see you tomorrow evening